Thank you, Lonnie, for scheduling me right after Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Supreme Court decisions, such as Dred Scott versus Sanford, Plessy versus Ferguson, Ann Brown versus Board of Education, document shame and hope along the road to equal justice under law. This museum provides a place for us to learn what life was like for the brave individuals who brought those cases to the Supreme Court. You can see the tragedy of Dredd and Harriet Scott in the 1840s broadside offering cash for the return of fugitive slaves. Dred Scott had traveled widely throughout the United States with his owner. He met and married Harriet in what is now Minnesota. They had two daughters. When his owner died, he tried to purchase his and his family's freedom with money he had struggled his whole life to accumulate. But the owner's widow turned him down. Only then did he turn to the courts with the Supreme Court ruling that he and his family were not even persons under the Constitution. You can see the bravery of Homer Plessy against the backdrop of the Pullman railroad car on display. Homer Plessy was a fair-skinned man of mixed racial ancestry. That's how he was able to purchase a ticket for the whites-only first-class compartment. But when the conductor came to collect his ticket, Homer Plessy announced that, under Louisiana law, he was a black man. And he set in process the test case challenging Jim Crow laws, a test that the Supreme Court would fail. And you can grasp the wrenching dilemma facing Oliver and Leola Brown in the photograph of five young African-American women outside their segregated school. How do you balance a hope for a better life for your 11-year-old daughter against real fear for her personal safety? But Oliver and Leola Brown were people of strong faith. He was an assistant pastor at his church. Together, they made the choice to enroll Linda in the whites-only school. And together, they changed the world. You can read the court's decision in Dred Scott versus Sanford, in Plessy versus Ferguson, and in Brown versus Board of Education, and learn what the court held. But if you want to know what those cases were about, you need to meet Dred and Harriet Scott, Plessy and Oliver and Leola Brown. And you can do that in this new museum. Thank you.